Late. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about big data on AWS. What are my options? Big data on AWS, you have a lot of options. It all starts with S3, I would say. S3 being a simple storage service with 11.9's durability. Uh, that is where you can essentially start building a data lake where you're pulling in all your data sources into one place to be analyzed uh, by a, a greater uh, processing system. From there, you can use something like Amazon EMR or Elastic MapReduce service to uh, analyze and process all of that data that your data lake with streams with Kinesis. So you can actually stream data in real time to Amazon S3 uh, with uh, you know consumers or with Kinesis Firehose, which uh, will let you stream to S3 out of the box. Uh, or you can do uh, true real-time streamings uh, by using Kinesis and EMR. Uh, you know, you can, you can start processing a stream in a matter of minutes uh, with those tools available in AWS. Amazon seems to be making a tremendous investment in the big data space um, with all of these products, EMR, Kinesis, Lambda. As you look to the future of what AWS is going to do, what would be your prediction? First, it makes sense to look back and, and you know, figure out why they're making that investment. And I would say it all starts with uh, kind of like this cloud adoption story, right? Where people are you know, first moving, you know, shutting down data centers and going into AWS. And now at their fingertips, they have all these tools at their disposal that they either you know, could never afford or would take a, a ton of uh, you know, time and resources to have that in their data center. So uh, now that a, a lot of people have adopted AWS and are going all in, uh, it's time that they start thinking about you know, how, do, how do I leverage this unlimited storage where I can keep data uh, virtually forever uh, and, and make predictions and extract business in, competitive business insights. Lowering the barrier of entry for that, Amazon uh, Machine Learning is available. Uh, so I, you know, I, I would predict that they're going to continue to advance that and provide new algorithms uh, that weren't available before. Uh, things like uh, QuickSight that they're coming out with, uh, essentially, you know, p uh, perhaps a, a big data uh, visualization tool that's you know, one tenth the cost of you know the, the other big players out there. I predict that Amazon's going to just basically continue to move themselves up the stack to simplify things for the end user. Amazon just introduced the big data competency, which is something that Corp Info was very eager to get, and I know that you were the lead solu senior solutions architect that led the process of helping us to achieve this. Just over the last few months, Corp Info uh, achieved the big data consulting competency from AWS. We're very honored and very proud uh, to achieve that. That basically puts us in a league where uh, we've delivered big data solutions for our customers. We've had uh, you know, verifiable case studies and solutions and analysis to say, you know, this is where the customer is coming from and this is what they were able to achieve as an outcome of Corp Info's involvement in their big data initiatives. What are some of the, your favorite things that you've done within the realm of big data for some of our clients? You have to design something that uh, essentially is pluggable and that uh, you know, adding one source is no different from adding the next source or, or very minimal uh, with, with a low amount of friction. A Lambda architecture is uh, essentially the, the big data processing uh, framework uh, that gives you that kind of scalability and pluggable architecture. Um, and that's not Lambda, Amazon Lambda. That's a, a, it's a separate, it's kind of its own thing. And that's where you have a, a speed layer for things like streaming, fast moving data where you need real time updates. And then you have a batch layer for you know, huge volumes of data. This is more for uh, business reports, uh, complex analytics, uh, things that don't have to be you know, you know, in a matter of seconds. Uh, that's, that's where the batch layer is. And all of that comes together at a query layer uh, where you can combine, you can even combine those things at different points in time. When you're creating a big data based architecture and you're pulling in data from hundreds of different places potentially and leveraging third party tools, obviously you're opening yourself up to a potential security risk because you want to make sure that, you know, hey, if, if I'm opening things up for things to come in, but is there also the ability for things to go out? So we take that incredibly seriously at Corp Info. Mm -hmm. And when we're thinking about architecting for security when it comes to big data, tell me about the things that you're thinking about, the things that you're building, mm -hmm. and how we're giving our clients the confidence that they're actually going to be, you know, secure 
even though we're enabling you know a mass amount of data to come into their sure. their business. Yeah. So what do we think about when we're uh, you know building a big data architecture in AWS? Um, it definitely uh, helps to think about things more holistically. Uh, you have to really start with the business process, uh, with things like data governments and, and master data management. Okay, to understand, you know, what data is coming in, why is it coming in, uh, what you know, what am I using it for downstream, and is does it contain private data? Does it need to be anonymized or so forth and so forth? Uh, so that that definitely needs to be in place uh, when it comes to data data security. Uh, but technologically, uh, when we're utilizing the AWS services, uh, you know, that brings us again higher in the stack where AWS is responsible uh, for a lot of the security and, and we don't have to think about it as much versus you know, building our own data centers and, and hosting our own services. Uh, so some of these services, and most of AWS services are audited by third parties for things like PCI compliance, HIPAA compliance, FIPS, and so forth. You can just worry about, okay, this endpoint, does it need, it only needs to be open to you know, X, Y, and Z businesses and, and source IP addresses. We're able to just focus and make sure that those things are in place while AWS maintains the rest.